The Burlington Chamber of Commerce recognized International Women's Day at their recent Wonder Women conference. Julie Ellis, co-founder of Mabel's Labels, was honored to present as one of the day's inspiring keynote speakers. Ready? One, two, three. Well, I really wanted to be involved in this because I love meeting new women and, and seeing how women operate differently in the world and how we can benefit ourselves by thinking about getting out of our comfort zone and leaning on each other in order to be bold, make big decisions, set big goals, and, and just like really break through the things that have been holding us back. Mabel's Labels grew from an idea in 2003 to a hugely successful business benefiting approximately 900,000 families to date. I asked Julie to share her top three secrets of success for new or aspiring entrepreneurs. It's kind of two types of goals and one of them is, you know, it's very defined and it's very doable and we're box checkers. But there's a second kind of goal that's really important in your life and it's like the shoot for the stars. Write down the goal and put it out to the universe and really see what can happen. And if you can get halfway to a goal like that, the movement it can create in your life is huge. Second, I would say that trying to find your lab coat and become a scientist and experiment with things to, to use that growth mindset idea of you need to get feedback, you need to fail, you need to try new things and if you don't put on your lab coat and start conducting those experiments and learn things from them, you get stuck in a rut and you become safe and small and so in order to break through and learn something new and be bold in your choices, putting on the lab coat and learning to experiment can be really helpful. The third thing I would say is that all of the things, setting big goals, experimenting, learning how to try new things, it all leads us to a path where spiritually, emotionally, and intellectually, we want to live in abundance because our best selves live there. And the farther along the path we can get to doing that, the more satisfied we're going to be with our life and our work. It's also important to remember that you don't have to do everything on your own. Build a tribe of people who can really help you. You lean on them and they can lean on you. You support each other and you work together to really find a way for all your boats to rise together. Um, finding that has been really important to me and it's really eased that feeling of you're trying to navigate it all alone and the loneliness that comes with trying to do big things by yourself. And finally, I asked Julie to reflect on the importance of celebrating International Women's Day in 2020 and beyond. You know, no matter how much progress we've made, the stats still show that we make less money, we don't apply for jobs until we're more qualified, they show we have better leadership skills, the fundamentals are there, but we still have work to do, and so I think it's so important for on International Women's Day for us to gather and reflect on those things. The Burlington Chamber hosts a huge range of events throughout the year. For a list of upcoming events or to become a member, please visit burlingtonchamber.com. For Halton News, I'm Jessica Kading.